Hey, I'm Rocky Covington. Willie Scruggs here. Corey Rowe, we are the Scarecrows. Yeah, we're uh, about to hop on 93.5 Fun Radio and uh, do a little interview with Cheese over here. And go check out our stage for the uh, Downtown Sound in Hartsville, May 11th. We, uh, gates open up at 5, we start playing at 6. There's going to be food trucks, y'all come on out, hang out with us. I'm pretty sure it's a 6 until, so if y'all like what you hear, <laughs> just clap real loud and we'll keep playing. We'll keep playing. Have you played at the county fair? Probably. Yeah, I have. I, I played there, and then we I've just done some sporadic things through Hartsville, you know. Okay. And then we, uh... Back when I was I was playing with some other guys and we were doing some stuff uh, downtown on 103.3. Right. So we were coming in doing some interviews just about that and things. Right. Grab that microphone, get a little closer to the uh -huh. There we go. I shouldn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Usually it holds it up like this. Well, sometimes I talk loud. I'm trying to use my inside voice in here. <laughs> yeah. So we're uh, we're happy to be here, man. We uh, obviously this is hometown for me. Um, we. have We've been on the road doing some things and uh, releasing some music, and we've we've got a pretty good following and stuff going on. So, uh, Coach Potts hit me up about doing the the downtown yeah. sound, and uh, I immediately I was like, yeah. I was like, I yeah. think I think it's good for Hartsville. You know, we used to have the cakewalks. Yeah. You ever been to a cakewalk? Oh yeah. yeah. Who had it? Yeah. So they way had... to do the free cake, eh? <laughs> yeah, That's right. That's right. Well, see, my pa he used to play bluegrass. Doesn't even actually have anything to do with cake. Yeah. Well, no, actually, you want a cake if you landed on your number. You want a cake, right? Wasn't that what it was? Yeah. Now tell me your. Uh, Monk Scruggs yes. was, was my grandpa. He uh, he played with the Possum Hunters <laughs> back in the late late forties, early fifties. Right. I had their CD. Yeah. They're, they're, it would have been vinyl. <laughs> we actually have their uh, what do you call it? The reel to reel tape. Oh, is but, that him? Yes, yeah, that's the Possum Hunters. Okay. So yeah, him and uh, which everybody knew all of them. Uh, Uncle Ted, Uncle Carl, Uncle Risey. Oh, they all played music. So you got you've got music in the blood. <laughs> I wish I was half as good as they were, <laughs> and I would already be making more money. Oh, <laughs> uh, so this is downtown sound, and this is an event that we hope that's going to be uh, going on for a long time. Y'all are going to be the first, the first <coughs> act. We're honored, that. Right? That's, We're excited that's about that. Cool. Okay. Hopefully, get the folks out here. Well, we were lucky enough to uh, we uh, we got to record a uh, music video down there on the on the square downtown. Okay. And uh, that was really cool. And uh, check it out on Spotify. Breaking stuff. Okay. <laughs> Shameless. Shameless plug. Shameless. <laughs> um, but we're just you know happy to be a part of the community, and right. uh, it's just awesome that, that they thought of us to come in and yeah. be a part of it. Okay, Willie, tell us who these guys are. Okay, yeah, sitting over here, uh, singer-songwriter Corey Rowe, and then uh, showing his muscles, <laughs> percussion and vocals back here, Rocky Covington. Hey, radio man. <laughs> I've met Rocky on the radio before. Yeah, uh, I'm Bucky Covington's brother. I played drums with him. Uh, we started Body Shops in Westmoreland in 2013. For years, I did a show called Westmoreland Wednesday, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure you came in to visit one day. I'm a hard face to uh, forget. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a real face for radio. <laughs> yeah, I actually lived in Hartsville for about two and a half years. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty sweet over here on Snake Hollow. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah, you know you're in Hartsville and everything rhyme starts with an animal. <laughs> yeah. Hog back. Yeah, hog holler. Wolf. I pulled up your yeah. Facebook page a while ago, and it said you've got 19,000 followers. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, we've uh, we've slowly been growing over the last the last two years. That's y'all. <laughs> okay, describe describe your music. What, what do y'all do? <clears throat> well, like Southern rock and country. Yeah, we uh, so Willie and I met at the base of COVID when it first started. Um, there was only one bar in town that would allow us to play. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they hired us on the same day different different stages and so I was inside Willie was outside and we were uh, and our guitar player Gabe Love was there with me and uh, we <laughs> we kept on me and Gabe would go outside and and listen to Willie and we're like oh he well he's good or whatever but let's go back in here and then he would come in and do the same thing and next thing you know uh, we wrote a song that night didn't we yeah 
I had an idea that I just pitched to you, and then he sent me a text back. I think three days later, and then after that, we just played together ever since. <laughs> wow. Musicians <laughs> amaze me. How does somebody sit down and write a song? How does somebody play a guitar? We wish we knew. <laughs> Just to try to figure that one out. Yeah. I get all my guitar lessons from our drummer. Yeah. So I really don't know what the heck I'm doing here. That sounds strange. Uh, where did the Scarecrow name come from? Uh, I know this one. <laughs> actually, uh, we... Yeah, go ahead. Well, actually, Willie here was about bound and determined to come up with something with the crows. <laughs> something with okay. something around the crows. And we was like, well, there's already... Some bands out there. Right. And, uh, he finally, I don't know, three or four days later, said, "All right, how about the scarecrows." No. Yeah. And then about two days later, he said it again. We're like, "Yeah, well, that sounds, sounds good. good. All right, it's like I've heard that before." Uh, we uh, the first thing we ever played is the scarecrows. We played uh, at the scoreboard downtown. They had the Nashville's most wanted uh, unsigned riders. And uh, we went down there, and they usually announced as Corey Rowe and Willie Scruggs, you know, and Rocky Covington, and, and I was like. It's a bit of a mouthful. Are we the Scarecrows? And they were like, yeah, yes, we are. So that was the first night they announced us as the Scarecrows. <laughs> and I think, what, five shows later, we eliminated the V <clears throat> after the Scarecrows? Or? We did, but we it haven't changed the on, logo yet. Yeah, it might still be on the table, guys. <laughs> it might still be on the table. We're not going to be offended if you say the Scarecrows <laughs> at all. Now, I basically know nothing about y'all's music. But some, give me a name or two of a band or an artist that that might sound like y'all. Well, not to say that, uh, not to say that we sound like sure. these artists. Sure. But, um, George Strait lit the fire for me. Okay. Growing up, and uh, Merle Haggard and uh, Tom Petty lit a fire under his. Pants. I'm a Tom Petty guy. I'm a classic rock guy. Okay. And so we'd we'd like to say that, you know, if that those two types of music had a baby, that's what the Scarecrows would be. But um, ultimately, we're just, we're just kind of <laughs> doing, <like. laughs> we're do, we're doing what we do. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> I would say more, almost like a Texas rock. If I had to put a name on it, you might consider it Texas rock, right. you know, uh, which is country. See? So Texas rock. <laughs> Okay. Um, you write songs. How many original songs do y'all do? Oh Lord, countless. Uh, we have, I mean, I have songs that I wrote before we got together. He has songs that he wrote before we got together, and Rocky has songs too. So, counting those with the songs that we write together now, it's it's countless it's a catalog. Yeah. As as far as how many we play right now, was it twelve? That we actually have in, the in set, our catalog. Yeah. In the set, we do we do twelve original so, um, songs per set. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to do. With the <laughs> we yeah, so our set consists of uh, right now it's twelve original songs. Um, as soon as we start playing um, longer sets, then we'll we'll, we'll add more in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, as of right now, we play a lot of shows that are three hours. Long because Corey here done some stint down there in Broadway, so he knows like 2,000 covers. So a lot of times we'll play, you know, about two sets of covers, one set of originals, you know, and repeat the ones that people like. For sure. Yeah, and we've uh, we've actually released four to Spotify and Apple Music, YouTube. We're on all the streaming platforms um, that we've got really good response out of. <clears throat> We're getting ready to go back into the studio. Uh, here before too long to to cut our next EP. Uh -huh. So we got some new music. We're getting ready to start releasing. We're busy with the Scarecrows this morning. As songwriters, do you always have the dream of writing a song and some big artist picking it up, and always making you a bunch of money? <laughs> oh, everything's for sale, man. <laughs> Come on, Chief. Yeah, everything's, for sale. everything's for sale, my man. <laughs> we like mailbox money. <laughs> yeah, yes. We will take it. We we got some floating around to some different people that may end up, you know, getting cut and stuff. Don't really want to get too far into that, but it's always a it's always a thing. You always want somebody to take your music to the next level, you know, whether whether it's you or somebody else. I just got a text. I'm gonna read this. I have Monk Scruggs cassette 
from it when he won the Fillers Contest in Smithville. Oh, wow. All the Scruggs family are very talented in music, even cousin Andy. This yep. is from Tim Gregory. <laughs> yep. Sorry, and, Andy. <laughs> so, uh, Andy's your cousin. Andy is Ted. Ted was his dad. Oh. Uh, and that is the uh, Lug Nuts? Uh, yes, yes, he's playing for the Lug Nuts now. Tim mm -hmm. Case? Yes, I don't really know the other guys. Um, okay. I've, I've talked to Andy some about it. Uh, yeah, I don't really know the other guys, but I think they're doing a lot of stuff up around Westmoreland. Uh -huh. Okay. I think it's Grandpa's, Grandpa's, Grandpa's Opry or something. Grandpa's Music, uh, I believe on the square in Westmoreland. Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. But. He's okay. a funny guy. <laughs> now, y'all obviously do lots of things together, but I saw something. You were doing something on your own last weekend? Mm hmm That's Yeah, something. and that was more of because Rocky and Corey were out of town. Uh-huh. And I still got bills to pay. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I I picked up some uh, some acoustic stuff, and then it worked out to where Corey never really was uh, out of town, so he come by and he uh, played a couple songs with me. And but our uh, our next big gig that we're looking forward to is the Downtown Sound. There you go. We are excited about it. Um, we went over and checked out the stage a little earlier. They're getting the stage together. It looks awesome. Uh, we're happy to. You know, I'm happy to be back here doing some stuff in the hometown. Absolutely. We got uh, one of our closest friends, uh, Lonnie Taylor, is going to be helping yeah. us out with sound. Um, he's been just awesome. You know, he's worked with a lot of um, very cool artists. And uh, he is. Uh, yeah. Have you heard of him? <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's been kind of a mentor Small to rats. us and uh, just, you know, always been kind of big brother to us. And we've we worked with him, actually. Our second show we played together, um, Lonnie came down there and, and just, uh, he ran sound for us and man, we can't wait to work with Lonnie again. And oh, he's, he's a great guy and one of the smartest guys I know. Extremely intelligent. When we start talking about these things. Yeah, he's a, uh, because he, I, I think he's actual, he's an engineer. I think he's an electrical <clears throat> engineer from Purdue. Mm -hmm. Hey, we need to give Nehemiah Wilson some love. Yeah, <laughs> give a shout out to Nehemiah over here. We, uh, I actually uh, started digging into his podcast last night when I got home. Okay. What's the name of your podcast? The uh, Puzzle Piece Media Podcast. Yeah, right Puzzle now we're doing. Media. Right now we're doing the Creek Bank Chronicles. Creek Bank Chronicles. You guys go check out Nama the there on the Creek Bank Chronicles, man. There's gonna obviously be some good stories, some good Hartsville stories coming out of there. Some football <laughs> stories. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a few state championships. <laughs> I like how he uh, his ring up. <laughs> <laughs> A few of them, he said. <clears throat> we are visiting with the Scarecrows this morning. Uh, Willie Scruggs, Rocky Covington, and Corey Rowe. They're going to be at Downtown Sound. Hey, speaking of weather, I had a car show guy I had seen in here a moment ago. Of course, it can change, but next Thursday, mostly sunny and 85 degrees. Mm, nice. Let's go, baby. Let's Perfect. go. Perfect. Might have to bring the mild hogs out for that one. <laughs> yeah, might have to ride the bikes down there. <laughs> We uh, we we have we've all got bikes and uh, so we we decided on our, our group name. We are the Mild Hogs. We're not the Wild Hogs. Mild. We're the Mild Hogs. We, we don't get not, wild. We will not fight you, but we will write a bad review. <laughs> <laughs> we will I mean, send a nasty. Marissa letter. Scruggs threw in um, that actually back to back champions. She wanted to add that. Well, that a couple of those. That's a back to back. That's got two stones in right there. <laughs> that's 08, 09. <laughs> Right there. That's a heavy ring. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah, I've, I've listened to you call a lot of games on the radio. Well, um, y'all were doing a Facebook Live somewhere, and I, I just clicked on it, and you saw me, and you said, there's cheese, and they who's cheese? <laughs> well, he's got does the football games, I guess, what you said, or something like that. <laughs> y'all been on the road. Mm -hmm. Where have y'all been? We've been, uh... I mean, all over the Midwest. Sorry about that. <laughs> Microphone. Um, we've been all over the Midwest. We've been going to the Carolinas. Um, shout out to Rockingham, North Carolina. Yes, sir. Uh, Columbia, South Carolina, Illinois. Columbia, South Carolina, <laughs> Illinois, Indiana. Um, anywhere else that uh, hires? Yeah, Owensboro, <laughs> Kentucky. Um, <clears throat> a, a, one of our uh, closest friends, uh, Andy Brasher, just opened up a bar up there. Brasher's Little Nashville. Uh, we've been going up there. Um, 
pretty much just trying to get this thing off the ground anywhere that's gonna that's wants to hear us. We want to play. I guess what's the dream? What's the dream? To talk to you on the radio. Too. There you go. <laughs> Good deal. Good answer. <laughs> Uh, the, What's I, music dream? If I had to say, it would be not having to worry about covering my bills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, the, the dream is just to, to be able to to make a living doing it's, what you like I, to do. Can I make a living in what I love doing? Exactly. That's exactly. what it is. Yeah, summing up about 150 shows a year on the tour bus. That, <laughs> there you yes, go. That would be that would do it. on the bus. That would get us close. Traveling in a van and trucks is... It's kind of hard. On anybody's tour. Really, anybody's. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to you, Luke Brian. <laughs> got any roadies? TJ, uh, yeah. Ryan Cochran. We got, a, we got a team of people that are, that are there for us at all times. Um, and they are awesome. They show up before we do, uh, help out with all the equipment. They, are, they truly are awesome. Uh -huh. uh, it really does make every night way easier with great people like that around us. Absolutely, yeah. We kind of got the sergeant at arms with uh, Ryan Cocker, and he's our uh, he's our rock man. He, uh -huh. he takes care of us. These he's folks, a vet. Yep. Hey, these folks gonna be in downtown Sam Thursday. Now the flyer says local food trucks and vendors from five and to eight. Music from six and eight. Will y'all be ready to go at six o'clock? We'll be ready to go at six o'clock. Will you go past eight? It depends on what it, what it's looking like. I mean, if people are there and they're 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 ready to hang out and party, we're we never turn down a good time. <laughs> we definitely can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we uh, like I said, we're and then also the Saturday after that's May thirteenth. We're playing at Beaver Dam Amphitheater um, up there in Beaver Dam, Kentucky. So that's a that's a pretty big gig for us. We're uh, Tickets are on sale for that one too, so if you come down and like like what you see at the downtown sound, go ahead and hop online and purchase some tickets for Beaver Dam Amphitheater <laughs> on the 13th. What's the biggest venue y'all play? Uh, as the Crows? Well, see, you can't count Rocky, and he's played the Grand Ole Opry. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard telling. Well, I'll tell you this: this uh, Beaver Dam, Kentucky, it um, it will be the biggest stage that we played on. Um, Columbia, Columbia, South Carolina was a uh, Probably a music venue that holds about 3,500 people. Skyline. Um, yeah. yeah. Just Skyline Club. Huge PA, yeah, Skyline Club. Thank Shout you, Lenny, Lenny Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. yeah, Lenny Cooper. Looking forward to coming a, back. That's our well, guy. Good deal. We're well, busy with the Scarecrows. We need to take a break. We'll come back and close it out just a moment. You doing all right, Chief? Yeah, 05, 08, 09, and 13. So, yeah. I guess you could say that I do. So we, I will tell you this. I do remember. Uh, I don't know if it's a sore subject. I remember they tried to replace cheese one time, and that did not go over well. All right, we got a few more minutes here with the scarecrows. Willie, what else we need to know about you guys? Uh, the main thing is uh, check us out. Uh, on online, like I said, we're we're on all the the major streaming platforms, YouTube. Um, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. We are uh, we're probably coming to a city near you um, this summer. We do a lot of the marina stuff, Cherokee Marina, and uh, we're actually going to be at All Daddy's tonight. If anybody oh, yes. in Gallatin, love the cheese sticks. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> you come by that innocently, I guess. I did, no doubt. <laughs> the nickname no years, no doubt. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we're just doing what we can to, to get this thing off the ground. We've been making a little bit of headway, so we're just pushing through, beating the road down. Do y'all have any merchandise yet? We do. Uh, we we actually just sold out of um, all the merch that we did have. Uh -huh. We've got a new batch on the way, and uh, we'll actually be launching a new website coming up soon where you can order that directly, and uh, it'll, it'll come right to your door. Um, or at the shows. I mean, the shows are the best place to... And when you buy a shirt at a show, it helps us get home, you see. Yeah. <laughs> the stage that y'all will be using used to be the the uh, the merch thing, Brooks and Duck. <laughs> oh, really? That's where that came from. So it came from Lonnie. It, it was in the warehouse down in Nashville. I went down with... I don't know how to take that. Lonnie one day. <laughs> Maybe it'll make me sound like Ronnie Dunn when I sing. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, guys, I'm glad you came in. We're excited about Thursday. Yes, sir. Uh, I think there could be a lot of people here. I think y'all got a pretty good following. We we have a decent one, man, and we 
we love our, our fans and our followers. It's got to the point of anywhere that we play, they are showing up, showing out, having a good time. We couldn't ask for, for a better crowd. <laughs> yeah, we sure do appreciate the 19,000 followers on Facebook. We appreciate the support, folks. For sure, for sure. Yeah, we, uh, like I said, you if, if you follow us on Facebook, we have everything on there, uh, everywhere that we're playing. This summer is going to be going to be extremely fun with the marinas. Like I said, between Cherokee and All Daddies, and there's some other local places in Gallatin, our spot that we will be hitting this summer. Yeah, Cherokee uh, actually switched its name to Cumberland Canteen. That's right. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. Same stage, same folks, um, different name. I think they got a new menu um, and things like that. But either way, we're going to be the same scarecrows playing the same same shows. And we're sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Scrubs, Rocky Covington, Corey Rowe, the Scarecrows. Yes, sir. We'll see you Thursday night in downtown Hartsfield. Good cheese. We'll see you there, man. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break. <laughs> What's up? Mr. Potts. What's up, Kurt? What's going on? 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 What's yeah, it's a little cool. <laughs> um, I was like, well, we were in, uh, we went to Bullet Pistol last night. We were in there. Four feet of bands up a bear, and I got out there. Look at it. I thought it was going to be about the same. That was weird enough. I want to be a real cool guy. And what about, what about power? <laughs> no, what about the you need your power? Uh, you know, well, that, that. Like, what's the best way? I don't, I don't think I'm going to fix power. Well, this is going to be mobile, right? That's right. That's right. right. That's right. I always move it around. When you, when you get there, surge protectors on the, on the sides. I wouldn't even pack So just some surge protectors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is not cool with those surge protectors. And I've got, I've got 10 gauge cores going to the power source. Oh, so we've got plenty of power coming to the stage. What about the PA? He's doing a line. Line. And now he's set up, he'll set up back. Away from y'all, probably. He'll, he'll be running from the house. house. So, so see the, he'll the take power. care of the power, too. If you guys are kind of look at, if you want to drive by there with it or whatever, but it's, it's still be at the end of court crew. You said take walk. Mm -hmm. And then, so the stage will be up against the building up there. So Donahoe, Donahoe Taylor. Donahoe Taylor, right here. And we'll yep. set up right beside them right in front of the old grocery store. Facing, Facing the street. Okay. And then down on the left is the power pole. So that's going to work out perfect. Power run up to the stage, yeah. and Lion is going to be out in front of you. Power it off to them. Yeah, so, it don't have to, I wouldn't put any power on the stage. I'm just going to jerk it off. So, <laughs> well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went over there and hopped on with cheese this morning. Yeah, yeah, I listened to you. I had it on the radio. So. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're pumped up about it, man. It's we, a daytime show. Yeah. Well, it starts yeah. at 6, and, I'm gonna have, and that's what I was going to ask, too. So I've, I've ordered it because I know, like y'all said, I'm fine with it going late. Don't bother me at all. Go late. We got a good crowd. Yeah. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? I don't think county gonna mind. I, you know, we might need to wrap up around nine, but I think we're fine. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna get some of those. They make a six pack. I can get a six pack of the ambient lights mm -hmm. that, uh, that you can change. It's got remotes you can change them to whatever color. Oh yeah. But they got the red, yellows, whatever, green, white. You know, that way we put on white just to start stuff. I mean, yeah. you don't. We can turn them down. Y'all tell me what you want. We'll, we'll put them how you want. So. Yeah, sure. all we need them is on this right here face the that's, what I, that's what I plan on doing. So I mount them up on these upper bars and shine them down on you guys. And that way you take care of them. So. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. It's easy. But yeah, hopefully there's something we're going to it's, it's going to be called the Rotary Stage. Carful Rotary is one really helping us put this together. And uh, we're doing that in our big banner. So the downtown sound covers this whole rack in the front. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. I think it's going to be a new city. It's, a, it's definitely a city. Yeah. It's really <laughs> cool that and if you guys have your better, that's right. That's right. If you guys have your better, bring it. We'll, we'll definitely we don't even have up. one yet. That's good. <laughs> we actually need to get one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're good. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, we haven't secured this front yet. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of low in the back. Like a six, by, a six by eight barrel would be pretty sweet, though. Yeah. Well, these are the major. I think the ones that we're putting up for the rotary is like a three by five. You know, the, the rotary banner is usually a rectangle long. It'll go wherever. 
I'm out here. So I think we're, we're here to make this thing get off the ground. I, mean, we're, I think it's very hard for hearts. We used to have all kind of cool things, and they just, there's nothing to do anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's cool to have like people like y'all making it happen again. You know? Well, man, it's stuff we've all been for stuff for years to try to find something here. And I said, no, I couldn't get anybody to get on board to do it. So I said, well, heck, I'm just going to do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so well, that's the thing. When it pops off and it's a real one, well, it's a success. Yeah. 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 Like you said, yeah. let like the yeah. Chamber of Commerce yeah. 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 take it over. Well, that's, well, that's half the back page. That's right. And that's why... I know you guys had a good following. Like I said, you had 20,000 followers on Facebook. I, and I know you guys. I know Willie's been around forever, so I know you got a good group. So that's what it takes. I can't just have a local kid start here mm-hmm. and get a good crowd. Right. I need to be people my time. Yeah, but, and once people see, drive by and see that, that's why we're doing what we're doing. When they drive by and they see everything going on, oh, more people are going to stop <laughs> pull in, you know. Yeah, and sure. each month it ought to get better. You're doing you know, it once a month? Once a month. Um, and I'll, I'll I think recommend it's something Biddy that James next. Well, I've already got it booked. See, yeah. I booked it for the year. The grass uh, holes. Grass holes. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, blue yeah. grass holes are coming. Uh, Southern mm-hmm. Image out of effects coming. Mm-hmm. I know they've got a good following in Macon County, Smith County, up that way. Right. So, and in the last month, we're doing three individual, uh, letting three individuals do. Uh, I can't call off the top of my head right now. Stone Silo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're, they're, awesome. they're awesome. Uh, Waylon Longstride. Yeah. Waylon's going to do one hour. And then also the last of the night's Ty Grigger. Ty Grigger's a new guy trying to get out and get going. Somebody said, is Clint Tucker playing with him? Clint Tucker's Clint playing with him. Clint sent me some of his stuff. He's like, hey, check him out. And so that's yeah. the reason that came about. Clint's been from Hartsville all his life and trained tons of kids here at Guitar. Clint's best so player now. So uh, we, we picked him up and left him play that last set. So, awesome. so that'll be our four. But however, hopefully what this thing is going to turn into is one day, might not do it this year just because it's just growing, but next year the, the Downtown Sound monthly deal and at the end of the year, have an actual concert. Mm-hmm. And pay, sell tickets, just like you're doing Beaver's Dam up there. Mm-hmm. You know, and if, if Bucky can be the headliner or whoever, whoever can be the headliner, and let's have two or three groups to open up and start for them and then have a full concert thing. That's Make this thing like a weekend or a month thing. You know, that weekend and be the whole sell tickets. Be closing it out. Like that's 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 a, yeah, wrap up or something. I should have a, a music fest. Uh, have a fest, guy. Yeah, start it that day at 3 o'clock or something. Play different if sets Bucky's and then night close it. If Buggy shows up, he likes to bounce your houses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's real big Hannah, on this. Hannah, get in there with him. <laughs> you know, Hannah played ball for me when I was coaching at Westmoreland. Really? See, I taught at Westmoreland 12 years. Did you really? I was coaching with that. I was a sweet kid, kid, man. So yeah. I got to know her. And then I saw they were together. I was like, okay. So. That whole family is about Oh, yeah. About and awesome. they're all athletic, too. Every, yeah, every, yeah, every yeah. one of them. All their brothers. Yeah, her, her twin brothers. Right oh, my now. God. God. Well, they're just going to town. And there's, especially with uh, last year with uh, Shafi. Oh, yeah. 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 He was throwing the ball up and let him go get it. <laughs> Chuck. It, it's almost unfair. Who was on the game? game right? Someone that got hurt, right? Yeah, yeah. One of them hurt. Collarbone. Yeah, collarbone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But once he came back, it was like, oh, I, yeah. I'm digging the stage. Well, you I, that think, I think yeah, you, healed, you healed him. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you said, you get a banner up there. It says right. the downtown sound. That's right. And, yeah, that's uh, good. and I'm going to put some steps. We'll build some steps and fold up.